All right, thanks, Kev. Your time is 640. Bakersfield College will be holding a seminar this week focused on supporting those who support us in our worst moments. It's called The Scars You Can't See, Breaking the Stigma, and it's meant to address the mental health and PTSD of first responders. Former Kern County Fire Captain and Director of Public Safety Training at Bakersfield College, Derek Robinson, is joining us this morning because he will be presenting this weekend uh, as part of the seminar. Derek, thanks so much for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. So we've spoken several times over the past few years because you have been very public sharing your story um, recently of the trauma that you underwent as a Kern County Fire Captain uh, and working on the job for so many years as a firefighter and, and how that impacted you and your life and then how you were able to come through it and find healing. You've even written a book on the subject as well. What's the reception been like uh, since your book came out last year? Yeah, the, uh, the reception's been overwhelming uh, and it's been great to uh, transition to Bakersfield College and have an opportunity to continue to advocate for raising awareness uh, for PTS and the first responders that have to deal with that on a daily basis. Why do you continue to share your story? It's important. Uh, we still have more first responders dying by their own hand than dying by uh, in the line of duty, and that's just unconscionable to me. And so the, every life we can touch and every life we can change and save is worth it. So what is happening this weekend, and who is this for? <clears throat> so this weekend we're having a free mental health seminar at Bakersfield College at the Indoor Theater and lunch will be provided. We have four speakers coming in from, uh, we have two firefighters, a former CHP commander and a ER nurse, <clears throat> excuse me, that are going to share their stories. When, what was the process of healing like for you and how are you able to help others who feel the same way or who are undergoing the same kinds of trauma get through that too? Yeah, so it's, it's really, uh, we need to equate it to an injury. It's more of a brain injury than a disorder, so we're really trying to change that language. And there's really no one absolute cure for anyone. You gotta find the right mix for yourself, whether it's uh, EMDR, counseling, or anything else. It's, it's, we're all individuals, so we all react differently mm -hmm. to both to what we see and what treatment we uh, works for us. Yeah, I mean, the day in, day out of a first responder is often being part of people's absolute worst moments and the worst days of their lives. And so it's, it's easy to imagine, um, but again, hard to really comprehend the impact of that as someone who is not a first responder. Mm -hmm. um, but for you, do you find that the stigma is lessening um, as far as reaching out for help and talking about these types of things? Absolutely. I think the stigma is definitely uh, being reduced and you see more people talking about it, more people writing books. Uh, one of our guests this weekend is a lieutenant, a uh, retired lieutenant from Oakland Fire Department. He wrote his own book, so we're going to have copies of that book to give away this weekend. And so more people are talking about it, but there's still a stigma. There's still that uh, fear of uh, asking for help. And, and the greatest thing you can do for yourself, your family, your department, the people you serve is actually reach out for help and ask for help. How has your life changed since you, you recognize this trauma? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's funny, uh, uh, I, I, I was given 15 minutes this weekend and so uh, I've been trying to compose my thoughts and the one thing I've come up with is that the last five years since I got help have been the five best years of my life. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible and that's what you want for, for yes, your other absolutely. first responders yeah. as well. There's hope. There's definitely hope. It, it's not something you're sentenced with for the rest of your life. You can get healthy and get back to a normal, happy, healthy life. All right. So would you recommend then first responders in our community come out, be part of this seminar as a yes. first step in healing? Yes, absolutely. Because again, <clears throat> my story may not resonate with someone, but we have four other speakers who may resonate with someone. And so come listen to our speakers. We've got some great speakers lined up uh, talking about acute PTS to chronic PTS. And so someone's story will hopefully connect with uh, anyone who shows up. All right, and that's all happening again this Saturday. It starts at 10 a.m. at the Bakersfield College Indoor Theater. Uh, seats are limited, but it's open to the public, so you need to register beforehand, right? Right, we have a, a page, a Bakersfield College Public Safety Training page on Facebook. The flyer is on there. There's a QR code you can register. We're, uh, like I said, we're gonna have giveaways uh, for all of our attendees, and then some special giveaways of uh, books from some of our authors that are showing up on Saturday. Awesome. All right, Derek Robinson, thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. No problem. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.